you can't see it very well but we have a fine dusting of snow yet again this is a not so glamorous pretty view out of my front window it's a shame you can't see all the snow on the rooftops At least the cars are driving slowly. <laughs> so there, that is my view this evening out of my window. I'm just trying to set this back down. There we go. <laughs> you see it is a very snowy, snowy day. Not too much heavy snow, but at least we have that little bit of a dusting and it's it's pretty. Uh, and it's not that cold today that my rather large fish pond, for a small garden, it's a large fish pond, uh, it hasn't frozen over. So that's quite nice. But uh, it is still cold. <laughs> and we're kind of, um, as I said before, it, being in the south of England we don't get snow very often so even the slightest bit of snow can kind of snow us in quite easily <laughs> you know there's a mad rush at the local shops everyone buys milk and bread and the shelves are empty for <laughs> you know, at least a week <laughs> but there so I thought I'd just sort of share it with you and I'll stick a picture on the end of what my garden look, looked like a couple of hours ago and like I said, the snow doesn't last long. It'll stop by about midday tomorrow and by tomorrow evening it will be all gone. And that's that. There goes another car down the road. <laughs> it is still snowing. Um, but like I said, it's so light you can't even see it. And my windows are covered in uh, little nose prints from the cats where the cats sit up against the window. <laughs> um, quick update on my pretty cats um, Coco's allergy uh, is still uh, affecting her she hasn't got much of her <coughs> um, basically um, the, the whole back half of her is very patchy with uh, patches of fur loss and now her bottom jaw all, all across her, her lip if you like is just one big swollen mess uh, it has started to go down uh, Kitty Bow's medication is working really, really well. Her fur is growing back and it's only been, it's not even been a week yet. And her fur is growing back really, really nicely. So, and Barkley is miserable. <laughs> he loves it when it snows and he likes it like when, when the snow flakes come, come down. He likes to be out on it. But the minute it lays on the ground, that's it. He's, he doesn't like it and he's, he's been a really grumpy boy. So there we go my quick update I have actually so I can I can keep on seeing reflection reflections of the traffic the car headlamps as they come around so I know when a car's coming <laughs> uh, I actually have managed to coppice a little bit of privet and I've made some privet ones um, and they are from my garden uh, I don't know if I'll be able to show you my garden from here it, it's going to be a bit difficult Let's see if I can <laughs> no see you can't see my garden from here there's just no way which is a shame but never mind all you can see is the reflection of everything oh dear So yes, no, um, can't see my garden from here, which is a shame, but never mind. So there we go. That is my quick, quickie update. Uh, you can now see my neighbour's cars. I'm sure they're not going to be too happy about that. <laughs> oh dear. It's, it's quite an unusual street. It's, it's a very, very short street uh, where I live. And the houses, we have the road going up the centre, which you can't, you can't see the road here. The road is actually, let's see if I can show you. The road is here. This is the road. And it's all covered in snow. And the road is separates our front gardens one from the other and no one has any um uh, no one has any fences 
<laughs> out around their front gardens or very few of us have so yeah that's our um luckily we have good neighbors <laughs> So the side view of the house is much more. We do have a main road at the side of the house also, uh, but it's obviously we are an end house, so it is quite, it's pretty quiet actually. So there we go. That's my quickie update. And yes, my privet wood ones. I thought it was quite unusual and quite a hedgewitchy thing as privet was used by the ancient Greeks along with wormwood to open up the gates of the underworld to commune with the dead. And I thought that was quite quite appropriate and one wand I have decided that I am keeping I, I had to keep it I absolutely love this privet wand that I've made and uh, yeah anyway I'm going now because this is getting to be a bit of a ramble <laughs> thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed my Southampton nighttime snow bye for now witchy people